that because we need to know that if you're still acting like that, you didn't sell out the whole route. You're not saved to the bone yet. Amen? And how long does it take? As long as you're willing to hold back, that's how long it's going to take. It may never come. But as soon as you make up your mind, this is it. That's it. I'm, I'm giving my whole life to Christ. My whole, because that's what it takes. Everything to Christ. Then you get, then the new heart starts to happen. Come on. You, got, you get the new, the mind of Christ. You start thinking like God thinks. You can do that. Say, so, ooh, that's blasphemy. No, it ain't. He said, put on the mind of Christ. He encourages you to do that. Because he knows how bad we need it. Otherwise, we're going to think worldly, carnal, fleshly, and we'll reap the same. But if we think like Jesus, how does, how does Jesus think, Pastor? Read the Word. This is the love letter. This is the warning letter. This is the prosperous. This is everything you'll ever need is in between these pages. Why do you think the devil hates it so much? Other countries burn it when they get a chance. They outlaw it because they're so afraid of it. Because why? It sets people free. And they want to hold people in bondage. And if you don't do it their way, they're going to behead you. Should I go there? Oh, my. Mm. my Lord. You know what's happening in the world today. Well, Jesus, don't. he won't behead you. He'll let you have your own head. You might not use it. And you might lose it after all in a different way or you might lose it at the end when you take the mark of the beast. Ooh, You don't want to be here for that. So isn't it better to just surrender and love it? It's such a better life. Such a better life. That's what God wants for you. You don't have to be in your depression and misery. That's not, that's not what the Lord has for you. Walk in love. Walk in obedience. No matter what. So you hit a bump in the road. Don't we all? I have had plenty of my bumps in this walk with God. Let me tell you. And every one of them seemed to be a crossroad for the person, the believer. Every one of them said, why? Which way you want to go? This way is broad and wide. You have the right to be bitter. You have the right to be selfish, you have the right to be mad, you have the right to be angry, you have the right to go to hell. Hello? This way, you have or also have a right, the choice is yours, to yield, surrender, swallow your pride, rebuke the devil, you don't have to get bitter, you can get better, you can walk in love, walk in victory, no matter what's coming up against you. Amen. And you can go to heaven. Amen. What road you travel. Amen. 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 Come on. Because anything you do in the flesh, you're just robbing yourself. You can cry Jesus all you want. You can holler I'm a Christian all you want. But by their fruits, you shall know them. You can say anything, but it's what you live and what you do that really counts. I've had people come and they... They disguise themselves in the robe of Christianity. But as soon as they disrobe, then the two-headed monster comes out. Oh, oh my God, they ain't saved after all. Are they? Ooh, nobody would talk like that. They say, nobody would talk like that to love the Lord. Nobody would wish their spouse dead, would they? Huh? And on and on and on it goes. So coming to church don't save you. Reading the Bible don't save you. All those are good things, but they don't save you. Only Jesus saves you. And when He saves you, he all things become new. When He saves you, you think different. You act different. You talk different. You walk different. You do Your behavior, everything's different. Because He gives you a new heart. Hallelujah. Anybody getting anything out of this besides me? Ooh. The word blessing also means to be happy. God wants you to be happy. That's what true blessings is. If you can be broke as it can be, not two nickels to rub together and still be happy. Amen. Now, if you're like me, I, I believe I can be happier with a thousand dollars. Hello, in my pocket. Amen. But if I didn't have the thousand dollars in my pocket and I don't, see, bam. 
I don't have a thousand dollars. I don't have a dollar. Gave it all to Jesus. That's okay. Don't try to run it. Don't feel sorry for me. It's coming back. But listen, you, 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 you can have all that going. If I don't have a thousand dollars, I'm still going to be happy. Amen. Why? Because it ain't the money that makes me happy. It ain't the things that make me happy. And sometimes it ain't you that makes me happy. It's Jesus that Amen. makes me happy. Amen. And as long as I don't let him go, I'm going to stay happy. Amen. You can pout, shout, and move out if you want, but I'm going to stay happy. Amen. Come on. You can walk around look like you've been baptized in vinegar juice, but I'm going to stay happy. Amen. You can look like a, a, a pickle with a pimple on it, but I'm going to be happy. <laughs> look like you've been sucking on the doorknob all day long, but I'm going to be happy. <laughs> you can trip over your lip, all, but I'm going to be happy. Oh if you want to be happy, you can hang with me. If not, you won't be able to hang with me. Oh, Jesus. I'm either going to get you saved, make you happy, or you're going to have to move out. Because I ain't moving out. <laughs> I may want to be happy. Let me see. Amen. Hallelujah. See, you want to be happy. Now, let me ask you another question. Be honest. How many are happy? Amen. Amen. We lost a few on that one, but that's okay. Maybe before the end of the service, you'll be happy. Amen. That's my wish for you, that you'll be happy. Hey! <laughs> Being thankful makes you happy, makes you blessed. Be thankful, church. I'm serious. And who you be thankful for? A lot of people, but mostly for Christ. Amen. I thank him every day, all day long. I thank him. Yes. I ran out of things to thank him for. I just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. First, I give him all the reasons why I thank him. Then when I, I just say, thank you, Lord. I don't, I don't even know how to say thank you, Lord. I tell him, I don't, I don't, words can't describe how thankful I am, Jesus. I'll tell you, by the time you're done that, Woo! Glory be to God, you're as high as a kite. <laughs> Flying high. I'm telling you, he loves to be praised. He loves to be thanked. He said, We got the Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got to be happy about it. Well, I got to be happy about it. Why should I be happy? You know, I'm miserable. I like being miserable. I'll, try, I'll make you miserable too. I don't care. Oh, no, misery loves company. Preacher always says misery loves company, so let's be miserable together. <laughs> Oh, Lord. What do I got to be happy for? I only got 10000 in the bank. That's all I got left. Why do, why do I need to be happy? My car just got a dent on it. I gotta, how am I going to be happy about that? Hmm? We always murmur and complain. See what I'm saying? We got used to That's a habit. That, that's a habit of murmuring and complaining. We always see the glass either half empty or half filled. Mm -hmm. And what the attitude determines what the glass is. Yes. Attitude. Time is slipping by. My God, I got 12 more pages to go. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to have part three next week. <laughs> I can't help what the Holy Ghost wants to do. He knows what you need to hear. Amen. Amen. I'm just writing down some thoughts. <laughs> he takes off. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Uh, listen, listen, don't be like nine out of the ten lepers that got healed of leprosy. Can you imagine they get healed of leprosy? Mm -hmm. One of the worst diseases on the planet. Mm -hmm. They get shunned from, from the rest of the public. And here they are coming down the road and Jesus meets them and heals all ten of them. Ten lepers. Amen. Heals them all. You talk about a blessing. Mm -hmm. They were cursed. They were outlawed, shunned. Had to live in their own colony. They couldn't come out and do nothing. Nobody. You have to walk across there. They have to holler, I'm a leper, I'm a leper. Across the street, I'm a leper. And here comes Jesus and he heals them all. Amen. That's enough to be blessed for right there, wouldn't you say? Amen. That's like having the death sentence today from the doctor and then finding out that you don't, after all, you're healed. Miracle. Miracle. And you don't come back to thank him, you don't change your life for him. Because nine of them didn't. Only one did. One came back was grateful enough to thank him. And Jesus even said, uh, didn't, I, didn't I heal ten of you? Yeah, look. Where's the other nine? At the mall, out canoeing, boat riding, this, that, and the other. I get, they're enjoying life. Well, they think they'd be great. I gave them life. I gave them a second chance in life. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And what do we do? Throw it under the bus? Are we thankful? thankful? Amen. Count your blessings, church. Hallelujah. If you really yes. think about it, you need yes. to be grateful. 
Amen. Amen. Blessings also mean to benefit someone else by your good. Amen. See, so it's not a selfish thing. Blessings ain't supposed to be selfish and self-centered. You share your blessings. Amen? Amen. The Lord give it to you. He gives it to you to share too. Amen? You don't Amen. have to give everything away unless He tells you, but I'm talking, talking, about, I'm talking about sharing. Amen. Amen. Being generous. Being kind. But that's what it means. Be benefiting someone else other than yourself. Bounty. Then the bounty comes. Bounty is more than you can handle. Ooh, I don't see too many people with a bountiful okay. blessing in their life. Amen? Amen? Being blessed means also to be, be more mature with your blessings. Amen? Being more mature. Understanding where they come from. Say, well, I work for my blessings, Pastor. Well, who gave you the health to work, my friend? Amen. Who gave you two hands to work with? Amen. Who gave you a body to get up in the middle of the night, amen, and get ready for work early in the morning? Amen. There's always something behind something, and now something is Jesus. Amen. He's the one that gives you the strength, the courage, the desire to want to, whatever. Promotion, the Bible says, doesn't come from the north, east, south, or west. Promotion comes from the Lord. Amen. When you wake up every morning, they by your own strength and will. It's because He willed you to wake up. He allowed you to wake up. I know, hey, I buried a few that died in their sleep. They didn't get a chance to wake up. Even your wake-up call comes from God. Stand with me as we begin to close. We're going to have to go to... Phase three next week. Amen. <laughs> and so much more. And it keeps just getting better. Yes. Amen. <laughs> just keeps getting better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But in the meantime, while we camp here for a moment left, mm, I hope you're getting the whole picture. The problem's not with God. Amen. Now we know we all have a devil we got to contend with. And he comes to rob, kill, and destroy your blessings. He really does. You need to discern. You need to know the difference between who is on your side, who's against you, and who's causing your uh, blessing line to clog up. Is it the Lord chastising you? Is it the devil persecuting you? Persecuting you? Or is it you standing in the way? They're the three forces. You've got to discern which one is what. You find out on, in prayer, on your face before the Lord. If you're not content, if you're not happy with the way, life the way it's going, you need to get on your face and ask God, all right, Lord, where is the problem? And be man enough, woman enough to take what He gives you. Amen. To listen to it, respond to it, and watch and see what happens. Maybe you're in the way. Maybe it is the devil. And he'll tell you, hang on a little bit longer. Amen. Those who endure to the end shall be saved. Those who endure to the end of the trial test will be blessed. Amen? Amen? If you need to be saved today, maybe somebody listen by way of internet, maybe you need to rededicate, but we could all stand to use a prayer. Amen? Let's pray it together. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I'm, coming in Jesus name. I'm coming in Jesus' name. Lord, I may need salvation today. Lord, I need Healing. Salvation today. Healing. Deliverance. Deliverance. Maybe a blessing. blessing. Whatever it is, Whatever I, ask you, I ask you in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Whatever I need, I ask you now, ask you now to, grant it, to grant it that I might serve you better serve in Jesus' better. name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You know what we do at the end? Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Give him praise and glory. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. His word is true. Amen. And he loves you. And he wants to see you blessed. God bless you. Food and fellowship. Amen.